Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Mushi Reviews. I'm your host, Pascal Gui, and in this show we're going to take a look at some of the products that are sent to us by companies from all over the world. Uh, we're going to divide the show in two parts today. First of all, we're going to look at the hardware and then we're going to move on to the programming part. Now, let's see what we're going to review today. The product I'm reviewing today comes from icstation.com. So let's take a look at product SKU 1400. It comes with a stepper motor as well as its controller. The stepper motor itself is a 28 BYJ48. It has it runs on 5 volts. Um, it has a 28 millimeter diameter and a reduction ratio of 1 over 64 meaning that every time the um, gear inside will make a full turn, the, more, the shaft will uh, move by 5.625 uh, degrees. So um, this motor has a lot of torque and um, it, has, it, it runs on four phases. Uh, so you need a four channel controller to run it. So let's look at the controller now. Um, this controller uh, runs on the uh, ULN2003 drive chip and uh, it has a uh, four channel on the side right here. And you can power your um, driver as well as the motor with the uh, power source uh, right, right here. Well, the connector for the power is right here. So let's look at the um, Arduino. So this is an Arduino uh, Nano, and it has uh, four. It has some digital inputs on the uh, on the side here. For uh, our controller, we connected the um, channels right here from D8 to uh, D11. So this is where our um, output channel are, and. Uh, for the power, we just uh, connected it to uh, 5 volts and ground right here. And it's uh, ready to go. And now we're going to move on to uh, the programming part. So let's connect our computer to the Arduino. And now we're ready. Alright, so before we start, uh, the easiest way to interface an Arduino with a stepper motor is by downloading the uh, Axel stepper library. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, this library allows you to control the speed, acceleration, and other different parameters of your stepper motor in the easiest way possible. So make sure to include it in your project. Um, now let's start coding. Alright, so I just created a new project in the Arduino IDE, and what we're going to do is make the stepper motor go clockwise up to a specific target position and then when it reaches that position it will go uh, counterclockwise. So let's start, it's a very simple program and uh, let's start by including the um, Excel stepper library. Okay so we're gonna define the half step of the motor. Um, this means that our motor needs uh, eight different control signal to move one step. And now we're going to define every pin that we connected our uh, our motor to on the Arduino. So yeah, let's define them all. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna create our step motor object with the lib the library. We just pass all the uh, parameters we just created. So all step motor pin one, motor pin three, motor pin two, and motor pin 4. Yeah, we need to pass them in this order because um, it uh, varies from uh, stepper motor to uh, stepper motor. So now we're going to create 
we're going to initialize our uh, stepper motor with different uh, values. So we're going to set its max speed to uh, 5000. We're going to um, set its acceleration to 500. We're going to also set its speed to 200 and its target position. So move to, yeah, to move to 2,500. And um, yeah, just need this, this. Um, now we're going to do the logic that will check if our motor has reached uh, its target position. And if so, then it will uh, inverse the position. So the motor will go counterclockwise. Uh, and so forth. So if our stepper motor has no distance to go, so <laughs> if it's equal to zero, then what we need to do is make it move to the opposite of its uh, current position. So current position like this. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So now we have to uh, make the stepper motor run. So we just run it like this. All right. So everything is ready. The only thing we need to do is to upload it on the uh, Arduino and see uh, the result. All right, so let's look at the result. So we're going to plug the Arduino. And we're going to look at the, my, the stepper motor. So as we can see, it accelerates clockwise and then it, would de it will decelerate, then go the other way around. So this is a very simple uh, example to on how to program a stepper motor. Thank you for watching Mushi Reviews. See you again next time.